from 24 Hour News 8. This is the Art Prize Jury Award Shortlist. Live from the Art Prize Hub in downtown Grand Rapids. The Magnetosphere by Matthew Steinka at Kendall College. <laughs> This is actually one of the first pieces I saw when I visited Art Prize, and um, I loved it immediately um, because it's a very immersive environment, um, and I really enjoyed the fact that um, there was a troop of people in there who were kind of um, engaging with this work, and it's a sound installation which the artist has created using um, a combination of rudimentary objects, um, tin cans, um, and other such things, as well as some sort of vintage um, acoustic devices, and um, kind of a meditation on how we create sound and the relationship between the different objects in space. Um, so it was a very playful um, and fun, fun environment to be part of. All right, welcome back. Let's dive right into the time-based category. The time-based category includes entries that are durational and change over time. The viewer has to spend time with the work to fully view it. This includes performance, video and film, dance, music, and interactive work. We'll be discussing five finalists selected by public vote alongside five finalists selected by one art expert. Yasomi Yumolu, exhibitions curator at the Riva and David Logan Center for the Arts at the University of Chicago. Our first time-based finalist is one of Yosomi's picks entitled The Magnetosphere by Matthew Stanky, showing at the Fed Galleries at Kendall College of Art and Design of Ferris State University. Utilizing found objects, robotics, electronics, sound, and music, the work echoes the imagined feelings of kaleidoscope weightlessness in an oscillating orbit around the Earth. <laughs> Kevin, that sounds like a trip. I don't know, I don't know about that. Um, well, but there are, there, are very two, there are two distinct things being offered to the viewer, right? You have these, these objects that have their own appearance, and you have these sounds that fill the space. Um, Gregory, what did you think about the, that relationship? I think it's a very good relationship because these are actually very enchanting little mini sculptures made out of, like, around the house seemingly throwaway stuff. That's really good. And then when you press the red button, they start springing into action with a rather <laughs> enchanting and interesting uh, music and I thought in a way it's like time traveling artwork that it's like looking to outer space but also it goes back to like the 19th century and some kind of circus like quality so I thought it's I think it's really good Alice I thought it was excellent, and I too felt like I was caught somewhere between um, the circus and the orchestra. Mm -hmm. uh, the arrangement, uh, the, the installation is very well done. You do visually sort of sense that you could be out in the atmosphere looking at all the, the space detritus as well as the um, detritus you might find in your own backyard. You can, mm -hmm. It's a sort of brilliant artist tinkerer yeah. imagination at work. A series of found objects, but one this one you like. What's the difference between this one and the other pieces? The fact that it makes noise and moves? There has to be something more than that. That's a profoundly different work <laughs> because, because the found <laughs> objects are behaving in a different way. Uh, I, I go back to what I said before about the general and the specific. These, these are specific works, components made out of seemingly casual stuff, and they behave in that way mm. with a real elegance. I mean, just using uh, found objects doesn't mean that the works are similar. It's, 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 how, it's how the artist is, is, re, is reimagining what these objects are that makes the work either excellent or mediocre. Very good. That makes sense. And now our next public vote time-based finalist, 